Welcome to UniArch Learning Hub. In this episode, we're going to introduce device management. We will show you steps to manage different devices, including encoding devices, decoding devices, cloud devices, and access control devices. Now let's get started. We'll start with adding devices for management. This is device management panel. On the left, you will see all the supported device types. Here we can manage encoding devices, decoding devices, cloud devices, access control devices, and so on. We'll explain them one by one later on. Let's look at encoding device first. Encoding devices include IPCs and NDRs. Under Online Device Panel, all the devices in the same network with your PC will be shown here. And device information like IP address, model, serial number, version information, and status are also displayed. If the adding status shows no, tick it here and click Add to add it. If the device has a default password or has been added to UniArch client before, then it will get online automatically. Otherwise, you will need to input the correct password. This panel also supports IP segment search. Enter the start and end IP addresses to search devices. Besides, we can visit the device's web interface when we right-click it. Now let's move on to Manage Device Panel. We can manage all the added devices here. On this panel, we can also add devices manually by IP, IP segment or EZDDNS. If you know the device's IP address, select IP mode and enter its IP address. In IP segment mode, we can search and add multiple devices within the IP segment range reset. Also, we can add devices with domain and device name. You can do multiple device editing, which is very useful when we need to correct the username or password for multiple devices in batches. Click here, we can delete the selected device, and we can add it again through online device list if needed. Time sync is used to synchronize the time of the selected device to the PC. Status provides us with online and offline status, remarks and recording status. We can set an interval to refresh their status automatically. If there are dozens of devices, we can search for a specified device by entering keywords here. On the right of each device, there are four operation icons. Click the first icon, we can modify device name, IP or domain, port, username, and password. Next, we can set basic camera configuration here, including image, encoding, and OSD parameters. For more parameter settings, we can access its web page from here. The last one is to restart the device. Furthermore, we can do group management. Click the plus, enter a group name. Then click here, we can import cameras to the group. Choose a camera, click Edit, we can rename the chosen camera here. To remove the camera from this group, click Delete. Now let's move on to decoding device. Adding a decoding device is needed for video wall function. The steps are similar to adding an encoding device. In addition to the devices within the local area network, UniArch Client also supports managing cloud devices. Click Login to log into your account if you have one, or click Register to open the EasyCloud website and register a new cloud account. Now let's log into a cloud account. Devices under your cloud account will be listed here, including your cloud devices and those shared from other cloud accounts. Click Device Details. We can stop managing the account. Also we can add other devices by clicking Add. Beside, we can share the chosen device to another cloud account or click Sharing Records to view sharing history or cancel sharing recordings with other cloud accounts. To log out of the account, just click Exit. 
finally, we can manage the access control devices here. It's also quite similar to adding other devices. Access control devices should be in the same LAN as UniArch client. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.